Christian romance meets modern day technology. Where you hear all the intimate details of a first date. in the next three months because women had told me I was too small. So I decided what I would do is try to bulk up and gain some weight. So I went on this program to where I work out five nights a week and I eat about 5,000 calories a day. So that's only about five meals. Oh, you guys like it. I mean, really, everybody in the entire world is trying to lose weight. Scott's uh, drinking milkshakes by the time. Well, tell me about this telling women how to dress on a date. What do you do? Or dress for a date or whatever? Well, it's important to me to look at a woman's legs. I'm a leg man in thigh. So to me, the best thing on a woman is her lower body. Yeah. So, so the important. miniskirt was a real eye-opener for you, so to speak. Chuck, I waited 20 years for the miniskirt since 1965. <laughs> <laughs> now that it's here, if a woman has a nice body, if she gets full, I'll keep her warm. I see. OK. All right. Let me show you the women that Scott had to choose from. Now, don't forget, you're going to pick the woman that you think's best for him. Here we go. First there was Shelly. She describes herself as uh, anxious and emotional. She says that she's looking for a man who makes a lot of money and who is, quote, macho in an intellectual way. No idea what that means. Here's the type of man she refuses. I can't deal with the average everyday guy. The kind of guy who goes to work every day, nine to five, and then he comes home to a small little apartment with a little cat in the corner. That's not me at all. I, I couldn't handle a guy like that. I, you know, I need something different. Next, there's Kath, uh, Kathleen. She says that she's sick and tired of boring dates. Claims that she won't date a man whose belly hangs over his belt. And here's the type of first date she likes to set up. A lot of times, I'd rather go out on first dates um, with another couple. Double dates with first date is really good because then you get to know each other, and you're not just stuck with each other all, all night. And finally, Lisa, she's a brown belt in karate and says that she likes to unwind by watching mindless sitcoms. She admits that she usually has the final word in an argument, and Lisa told us how her relationships uh, evolve. I start off and we start off like uh, freight trains. Uh, and the guy falls in love and he loses. All backbone, turns off, turns the jelly, and then falls apart. And she's like, what happened? And I'm like, well, he fell in love with me. Well, that's not the way it works. 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 Those are the three choices uh, for our Scott. Let's see who you pick for him. Make your choice now, if you will, and uh, see what goes on. <laughs> Audience has made its selection. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll meet the woman that Scott selected. We're going to hear everything that happened on their date. We'll do that in two minutes, two seconds. <laughs> Back, Scott's going to tell us who he selected. I picked Lisa. Pick Lisa. We haven't seen each other since we did. We're always going to go try. So, you know, Lisa, how about you? Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Now, is your, is your brown belt up to date, Lisa? That's what I want to know. Well, I was doing that about two months ago. Oh. And I was a second level brown belt. So, you can still throw a guy, so to speak. I can throw Scott. <laughs> Here we go back to the gym again. Cute. Well, tell me about this. Well, we had about two weeks before Lisa and I could actually go out on our date, so we had had plenty of time to talk on the phone. Then I go over to Lisa's house, and she opens the door, and she looked great. She had a short skirt on. I saw a lot of leg, which is important to me, and she just had a perfect body. Lisa was really pretty. And now, let's get to Scott. Now, what did you think of him? I thought Scott was very nice looking. Mm -hmm. The women at work prepared me for this big geek. They thought, this guy's going to be the biggest joke. And I, I knew we were going to have a great date. We had great fun. <laughs> okay, now what happens? You go to dinner. Well. well, we go to dinner. We're sitting in the restaurant, and Lisa, um, you know, she has great lips. So I'm just like looking at her lips all the way through dinner. She eats this food for about two hours. 
I say, well, you know, we're done with dinner. Let's take a walk. So I grab Lisa's hand and I take her down to the beach. It's a nice little place. It's really quiet. It wasn't went down. And the first thing I did was grab her and start kissing her. You know, I had, I had to get close. Oh yeah. 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 What did he say to you? He said, I'm gonna kiss you now. And I said, okay. <laughs> That's not a question, can I? I'm gonna kiss you now. Ready? And he said, move your knees. Uh, my knees were in his way, so he said, move your knees. And I said, okay. So I moved my knees. Yeah. And, well, we, that is, she was actually, I had her up on a, on a ledge, so her knees were in the way, and I had to move her legs to the side so I could get closer and yeah. grab on. <laughs> right, Lisa suggested we go back to her house. So we go back to Lisa's house. Now, what's wrong with that? They haven't even, you're already off on a tangent, they haven't even got to the front door yet. <laughs> So we get back to Lisa's house, and she suggests that we um, change into something more comfortable. Now you do. <laughs> now so that's different. <laughs> Go ahead, Lisa, what? Well, he didn't have anything. I was, I put on, well, wait a second. I had, I had on these, these shorts and a t-shirt. He said, I wish I would have brought something. So I said, okay, and I looked down at what I was wearing, and I said, these will fit you. So I went back in, put on another pair of shorts, and I gave him those shorts, and he would put those shorts on, and they were baggier on him than they were on me. <laughs> well, what happened to him? Well, then Lisa asked me if I'd like to go in her bedroom and see her gun. <laughs> this date this is, it's, if you are not this bizarre, it's becoming very bizarre. Now, what kind of deal was that? Well, we were talking about guns. He's got a collection of two or three, and I had one, and I, I said, you want to come see my gun? It's in my bedroom. It got in there, didn't it? I mean, we were there. So now what happened? What happened, Lisa? Well, he said, um, we were talking about his favorite sleeping position, and he asked me if I wanted to see it. So I said, sure. So he curled up on his side, and, and uh, I curled up with my back against him, and we laid there and talked for about a half hour. It was, it was fun. We did. Now, I believe that. I do, I do, I do. This, this was a good day, huh? Yeah, it was a great day. Yeah, were you both surprised it was such a good day? No, I wasn't. We had we had such a good time talking to each other on the phone. I was prepared for a great day. Oh, that's good. Let's take a look and see the audience did for you. Oh, my. I picked Kathleen, 49%. Well, you did it. <laughs> if you like a day with Kathleen, who our audience picked for you, we'll pay for it. If not, you have to pay. And then, uh, the audience has bad judgment today. I'd like to ask Lisa out again. Thanks for coming to the show. Stay in touch. Will you do that? Thank you. Sure. Yeah. We'll come back to this.